check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Hello there everyone! Our topic for today is about propaganda techniques. Our target most essential learning competency for this video is Analyze intention of words or expressions used in propaganda techniques. Alam kong familiar na kayo dito, pero allow me to help you to understand this lesson even more. Tara, panoorin mo to! Let us start by defining the term propaganda. What is propaganda? Propaganda is the spreading of information with a purpose of influencing feelings or actions. It's not so important whether the information is true or false, or if the cause is just or not. It's all propaganda. Propaganda is always biased and can be negative or positive. Madalas nating naririnig at naiuugnay ang salitang ito sa panahon ng eleksyon. It is often used in a negative sense, lalo na sa mga politiko na gumagawa o nagkakalat ng mga fake news o maling impormasyon upang siraan ang kalaban nila sa politika at nang sa gayon ay pumanig sa kanila ang mga tao at makakuha ng maraming boto. In fact, any campaign that is used to persuade o sa Tagalog ay manghikayat ay tinatawag na propaganda. So, ang propaganda ay ginagamit upang manghikayat, manghimo o mangumbinse. Just look at the TV commercials and print advertisements that we always see around. Maybe, we are not just aware of the term, pero araw-araw tayang kinukumbinse ng mga propagandang ito sa ating paligid. Here are the seven most common propaganda techniques. Number one, name calling. Trash talking another product or person. Ito ay ang pagtawag o pagbibigay ng bansag sa isang produkto o isang tao na may layunin na makasira sa reputasyon nito. This is used to make us reject and condemn a person or idea without examining what the label really means. Narito ang ilan sa mga halimbawa. In this picture, it shows the difference between the two burgers. Ipinakikita na ang isang regular burger ay kitang mas malaki kesa sa big-sized burger mula sa kalabang fast food chain. Direktang pinangalanan din ang brands ng dalawang ikinukumparang burger upang ipakitang mas malaki at mas sulit ang isa kesa sa mas malaki at mas kilalang brand. Narito pa ang ilang halimbawa. Number 2. Glittering Generalities Words of praise for product or person. Nice words like goodness or patriotism. Ito ay ang paggamit ng mga slogan o nakakaigaya o positibong mga salita upang maging madali sa atin na tanggapin at bilhin ang isang produkto. Ang layunin ay makapangloko. Dahil nadala na tayo sa matatamis nilang salita, Hindi na natin bubusisiin pa kung may katotohanan ba talaga ang ginamit ng mga salita o wala. Examples, the use of the following words, natural, organic, scientific, ecological, sustainable. Example, things go better with coke. Isipin mo nga kung paano mo ito mapatutunayan? Maaari bang bumuti ang anumang kalagayan mo sa kasalukuyan kung iinom ka nito? Maybe, instead of getting better, it might get worse. Let's take health into consideration. Too much coke will only give you diabetes. Another example is the use of the word organic. Para sa isang health-conscious consumer, mas bibilhin niya ang isang product kapag ito ay may nakalagay na organic. But how can we assure if these products or goods are really organic and are different from the other fruits in the stand? Hindi ba paraan lang ito para mas bilhin ng mas maraming tao ang produkto nila? Narito pa ang isang halimbawa.
Number three, transfer. An appeal that helps a person imagine himself as part of a picture. Transfer is when a symbol that carries respect, authority, sanction, and prestige is used along with an idea or argument to make it look more acceptable. Example, Chooks to go bilang manok ng bayan. Kung ikaw ay isa sa fans ng Gilas Pilipinas at damang-dama mo ang pagiging makabayan sa mga panahong nakikipaglaban sila sa ibang bansa sa larangan ng basketball, tiyak na chooks to go ang manok na bibilhin mo dahil doon mo maita-transfer, maililipat o maipapakita ang pagsuporta mo sa team na ito. O kung hindi ka naman mahilig sa basketball, bilang Pilipino ay bibilhin mo at susuportahan ang produktong ito bilang ito nga ay manok ng bayan. These are the other examples. Four, testimonial. A famous person recommends a product or a political endorsement. When some respected celebrity, or alternatively someone generally hated, claims that an idea or product is good or bad. This technique is used to convince us without examining the facts more carefully. Example, Chooks to go again with Manila City Mayor Isko Moreno. Because Mayor Isko is a well-respected government official and used to be a showbiz personality and is idolized by many, the tendency is that many people will buy whatever he endorses because of his reputation and not because of the quality of the product alone. Kumbaga, nabibigyan din ang isang produkto ng mabangong pangalan dahil sa magandang reputasyon ng taong nag endorso Other examples are Main Mendoza for Mac and Taylor Swift for Kids. Number 5. Plain Folks This is a way that a speaker convinces an audience that an idea is good because they are the same ideas of the vast majority of people like yourself. Example, Nescafe's Para Kanino Ka Bumabangon and the use of coffee farmers and a security guard who worked hard and became a teacher and other ordinary citizens in their advertisements. These people are the vast majority the ordinary people, saying just like yourself. Ito din ang iniinom nilang kape. Sila ang mga ordinaryong taong gaya mo. Kabalig na naman ito ng testimonial. Number 6. Card stacking. Also known as distortion of data or out of context or cherry picking. Basically, card stacking means stacking the cards in favor of the product. Advertisers stress the positive qualities and ignore the negatives. This technique is used to convince the audience by using selected information and not presenting the complete story. O tinatawag din itong selective omission. Layunin itong ipakita lamang ang positibo o magandang katangian ng produkto at hindi nabigyang pansin ang masama o pangit na katangian nito. Example, potato fries as we all know is loaded with salt and oil and calories. And here is Burger King boasting that theirs has 40% less fat and 30% less calories than those other fries in the market. Parang mukhang mas healthy pala yung potato fries nila kasi less fat at less calories daw. Gaano kaya kakonti o kadaming fries ang pwede mong kainin para maramdaman ang 40% less fat at 30% less calories nito? Can their fries make you healthier than other fries? Siyempre ang sagot ay hindi. Pero hindi nila sasabihin na hindi ito healthy dahil gusto nila na isipin mong mas healthy ito kumpara sa iba upang mas piliin mong bumili ng fries nila. Kapag sinabi nila na hindi ito healthy kagaya ng iba, syempre, hindi ka bibili, hindi ba? And lastly, bandwagon. Bandwagon advertising is a specific type of propaganda advertising technique that tries to get the target audience 
to jump on board so as to not miss out on what everyone else is doing. It focuses on the target audience's desire to be included. Example, inside the room where everyone is using an iPhone, you will feel left out kung ikaw lang ang gumagamit ng Android phone kagaya halimbawa ng Cherry Mobile. Maaaring mahiya ka na ito ay ilabas dahil ayaw mong mapahiya ka dahil iba ang gamit mo sa karamihan kaya naman nag ka na magpabili ng iPhone nang sa ganon ay hindi ka na naiiba. Ito ang bandwagon. Dahil maraming tao ang gumagamit o tumatangkilik ng isang produkto, you will also buy the same so that you won't get left behind. Takot ka na mapag-iwanan. These are some other examples. So, did you understand our lesson? Again, propaganda is the more or less systematic effort to manipulate other people's beliefs, attitudes, or actions. Sa ganitong pamamaraan, gustong impluensyahan ng mga TV commercials, electronic billboards, digital and print advertisements, at iba pa ang ating emosyon sa pagpili ng mga bibilhin nating products. They try to influence our feelings for us to act in the way they want it. They will try hard and invest and spend a lot of money to convince you to spend your money as well on their product because they can earn more money from you. This is propaganda. So did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed? If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class dismissed! See ya!